welcome back welcome back to those who are new and have never seen me before my name is Alita and I'm here to share a prophetic word with you this is based on a dream that I had on August 3rd this year and before I get into it just the usual disclaimer guys it's very important that you understand that not every prophetic word is meant for you and that this word might not be related to you at all but if you do believe it's meant for you please take it before the Lord spend some time with him let him answer your questions I don't have the full story um, and for some of you this may be confirmation of something the Lord has already shown you that he's already spoken to you about I still encourage you to take it before him and to spend some time just speaking to him and getting more clarity or just um, you know having your questions answered around what that means for you okay so Let's get into the dream before I get into the interpretation, of course. So in this dream, I was at a department store here in South Africa. It's a big um, department store chain. It's called Woolworths. We call it Woolies for short. <laughs> and I was at um, one of these stores. And I remember that my basket was empty. I was carrying my basket. And I got to the till. And the person who was operating the till wasn't uh, your usual till operator. She looked like someone of, um, you know, affluence. She looked like the person who owned the store, basically. So um, she asked me if I wasn't going to buy anything. And I said, well, you know, I need some eggs. So I grabbed two trays of eggs, which were close to the till there. And I opened them and they were both just, it was just a mess in both of them. They, The eggs weren't looking that great. Um, and I remember her suggestion was why don't you take some of the eggs from the one tray and put it in the other tray so that one tray is full and you don't have two like half full trays and i thought oh well, that's a great idea because i really actually wanted just one tray so i did that but the tray still wasn't full and the eggs just looked really really bad so i left without buying anything oh before i left without buying anything she kept trying to make me um, she kept trying to sell them to me you know giving me all the reasons why i should buy it and how great it will be and eventually i said no thank you i'm not buying then i left and then i saw this boutique and it was the same woman inside the boutique and it was closed and i remember thinking oh, i wonder when they open again and i kind of waved in to kind of ask like when are you open again and she said yeah maybe tomorrow i don't know Fine, then I left, moved on to the next door, and I was back at the Woolworths, but it was different this time. It looked more like, um, it looked like, more like a game store. Game is like, what can I say again? Like, like Walmart, I think, <laughs> just to give you guys perspective. So as I entered, it was, um, the, the first section that was there was the baby section, you know, where you have baby carriers, the prams, strollers, everything related to baby things that was the section and I remember seeing two guys these guys were not the you know richest looking guys and I think they were trying to buy a pram or something and they had this manual and I remember interacting with them and seeing um, like asking them questions like oh you here to buy a pram and stuff like that and they asked me as well you know are you also here to buy baby stuff and the dream pretty much ended there um, just so you know in the dream I felt like I knew that I could help them with the manual like I knew that I could help them without using the manual if that makes sense so that was the dream next I'm just gonna go into the interpretation that I wrote down and then I'll talk about the prophetic word and the symbols in the dream so the interpretation is as follows for some of you you are in a season of awakening and you've been fed or told things that aren't right you no longer want to subscribe to these falsehoods and your turning away will put certain organizations out of business in a sense out of business um, it will affect them economically the underdogs are coming up and you have a key part to play in leadership in helping people because you've been through a certain amount of training that the Lord has put you through okay so that's the gist of what the dream means without adding anything to it now when we get into the prophetic word I just want to start off by reading scripture I'm reading from Isaiah 40 verse 28 to 31 and it says have you never heard have you never understood the Lord is the everlasting God the create the creator of all the earth he never grows weak or weary no one can measure the depths of his understanding he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless even youths will become weak and tired 
and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. So friends, what is the Lord saying, us to, saying to us today through this dream? It is seen as a trusted brand. So the Lord is saying to us today that we've been fed information by trusted sources, right? Um, you know what I mean. By trusted sources and or supposedly trusted sources and you know most of the world falls for everything that we we are fed everything that we're told everything that we are taught and these trusted sources I'm not only talking about just the news the newspapers um, I'm talking about everything where all the places that you can get information I'm even talking about the education system through all those channels we've been fed certain information these are trusted sources people have so much trust in the education system people have so much trust in just the system of the world in terms of the information that we're given that's why we we think the way we think that's why we have the political views that we have um, because we've been fed all this information and it all seems like trusted sources but God is saying that because he has renewed your mind he has transformed you by renewing your mind. That empty basket I was carrying is a symbol of a renewed mind. A mind that has been detoxified. All the stuff has been removed. And you have an understanding and you are awakening to the fact that, wait a minute. All this time, all this information, all these systems that are put in place to feed me information, this information may not be right. It may not be trust. I cannot trust this information because God is starting to open my eyes. It's not just that, you know, you believe in conspiracy theories, left, right, and center. No, God is opening your eyes. There's a deep spiritual work going on in you. And you are starting to see certain things. And God is showing you these things. So, um, that empty basket being a symbol of that, um, that renewed mind. And the egg symbolizing information, news, something new to take in, something new to ingest, right? And the fact that these trusted sources um, are putting all of this out and they're trying to package it correctly and trying to manipulate it so that it's presentable to you so that you can take it in and God is saying that he is giving you wisdom to walk away from this to reject it to say I'm not going to take this I'm not just going to accept it because of this fancy place that you've built for me you know Woolworths here in my country is a very trusted um, department store where you know you're going to get some good quality food, good quality organic food, good quality clothing. So this is, I mean, and I'm not saying anything negative about Woolies. It's just a symbol in my dream. It's just a symbol. Please, Woolworths, don't, <laughs> don't, if anyone from Woolies who works there, please don't think that I'm bashing Woolworths at all. I'm, I'm one of your customers. <laughs> so it's it's just a symbol um, that God was using to show me something in the dream. So so there's a there's a manipulation of information. Um, these various trusted sources are trying to sell you things and trying to package it and get you to fall for what they're saying. The fact that I didn't buy it, that I chose to walk away and say I'm not buying anything. God is saying He's giving you wisdom and discernment, and you'll be able to do that. To you're just not going to buy it. Just don't buy into what they're selling you. Don't just believe what you're being told. Um, you know better than to take that in. Your mind has been renewed. You don't want to put anything into that basket, into your mind that is rotten. I mean, those eggs actually really look rotten and just messed up. You don't want that and you can see it. Now God has opened your eyes. You have that discernment and you can see information that is not going to um, be good for you to take in at all. In fact, it's going to be poisonous to your mind, to your system, right? So um, me seeing the other, seeing the closed boutique. So the closed boutique had the same owner as the person who was at the till at Woolies. Um, and I felt like she was the owner of Woolies as well, or that particular Woolies store. Um, and her doors were closed and it seemed like business was tough. God is saying that because he's awakening us and we're beginning to have wisdom and discernment and understanding of how wrong the information that we're being fed is, um, 
this is actually going to affect these trusted sources, these trusted systems economically because they're losing the support of the people. They're losing the support. I mean, the people, without the people, they, they can't stand. And as God is pulling people out of the, those mentalities, out of those ways of thinking, they're going to lose out economically and, and it's going to be a touch and go situation for them. Like, I asked the lady, like, when are you going to be open again? And they said, well, maybe tomorrow, we don't know. So it's going to be a time of uncertainty for a lot of these um, organizations and these systems that are in place um, at the moment that have been in place for so long in our lives. Now the next symbol that I wrote down here is the, the second Woolies. Well, this, it was the same Woolies, but it had changed. So the Lord is saying that He is changing things. He's changing the system. He is doing a new thing. Don't underestimate it when He says He's doing a new thing. It's going to be like nothing we've seen before. The world is already changing. Um, and it's difficult to see the world changing because we're so comfortable in the mess that we're in. We're comfortable in the mess that we're in. And quite frankly, I, I know that a lot of people would just rather go back to the way it was pre-COVID. But we were in a mess. And God is changing that. He's bringing the underdogs up. These two guys that were there um, that didn't really know what they were doing. They had this manual, but but they, they needed to be there. I had the sense of they were in the right place and just that they needed help. God is saying he's bringing the underdogs up and he's going to use you. You who has been trained, whose mind has been renewed, um, he's going to use you to help people, to help bring the underdogs up. You yourself are an un underdog and God is using you to help and to um, minister and to support people and he's opening up so much for people who never would have had opportunities before in certain areas so economically things are going to change things are going to start turning around for certain people so God is saying look out for that this is um, God giving us insight into what's coming I don't know what the time frame is so the key thing is to understand that you have a role to play. Um, God is giving you wisdom and discernment and you're going to be able to see through the lies, the deceit, um, all of the, just, just the fake news, guys. Everything that has just been, um, just, all of this has been designed to control, to control the masses and you are going to be able to see through that. You are being awakened by the Lord and you're going to make a difference in this world. Um, especially where the underdogs are concerned, you yourself being an underdog. So that's the word I have for you today, my friends. I really pray that it's blessed you. It has blessed me, as it always does. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon with whatever the Lord wants me to share with you. And friends, I just want to say to everyone who supports my ministry in whatever way, some of you are praying for me, some of you come and you share some really um, confirming prophetic words with me, some of you just encourage me so much, like you bring me to tears with your encouragement because on one side there are people that are just tearing me down, but when I get your encouraging emails or just comments where you just build me up. I'm so grateful for that and it touches my heart so much. Some of you, um, you know, you sow into this ministry financially and that alone is just a blessing because I'm able to do certain things that I wasn't able to do before. Um, I'm able to create music and guys, there's new music coming to you. I'm so excited. So excited um, but I'm gonna be able to share that um, and I also want to start a new channel where um, and the Lord has put it on my heart to actually do that where I share um, just Christian meditations meditations words to speak over yourself based on the Bible and yeah just stuff like that um, so that requires me to purchase music because that's what goes hand in hand with those types of videos so to be able to say you know I can afford to Go get to buy that music and create those videos for you um, to be able to afford to go to studio and record music that I can put out there because the Lord has given me this gift and I want to use it for His glory. And um, on a personal level, to just be able to take care of my children has been such a blessing this this whole year. And I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. And guys, there's never an obligation to sow in any way. I'm here because the Lord 
asked me to be here he said go on i'm gonna take care of you <laughs> um, because i was like trying to look for a job and he said nope i don't want you to go back to the corporate environment i want you here ministering to the people so i'm doing this because the lord told me to um if you never put a single cent towards me or never pray for me it's okay because the key thing is that i'm here ministering to you and that's what the lord has called me to do so i'm so grateful and i thank you so much and i've spoken for long enough remember that you serve a wonderful loving father and you my friend are so special to him